gamers. Today we're going to be talking about a quite interesting subject, but before that... <laughs> I would like to ask you to support my channel with your like and to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. So what's going to be the topic of this video? I think that you already know. Now, I love Sony games. I love Sony console. But there are many problems with this console that I want to talk about that I barely hear any people talk about it. First of all, why such big company as Sony cannot, they cannot make a good looking theme? What is this crap that I have to put up with? No, but seriously, do you agree with me or not? I mean, do we really deserve these type of themes? Another thing, why the internet speed that I see on my PS4 does not meet the reality? It is completely different speed. It has nothing to do with my internet speed at all. Now, my PC and my PS4 connected to the same router and the same network. So... Now, I connected my PS4 with a LAN cable to give it a better chance to be better. Stupid! I'm not gonna let you get the chance! I want it to be better. I want the speed to actually meet the reality or at least to be as close to it as possible. Now, let me test my PC. Everything seemed like being very stable, right? Now, let's test the PS4. Now, results here are not just the same, but more than that, the speed is changing every time I test it. Now, how in the world the person who didn't finish the MCITP server management degree can fix this issue. Obviously, I can fix it with the, you know, dealing with all the ports, getting to the port settings and all this stuff, but I bought the console to play games, not to fuck with all the settings shit. I have games to fuck with. I have Sekiro. Official forums and websites are no help. Now I want to talk about the problems within the console itself. Now, those problems are a lot more irritating. Why those problems appear in the best console in the world, PS4? And PSN, Jesus, PSN, that's the world's worst e-store ever. The miserable abilities in this store is quite hidden. First, it looks like a cute, attractive, comfortable and simple store, but in reality, are quite good. Now let's go ahead and buy a game. Let's try to do it at least. Okay, let's buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's say I didn't see the trailers, presentations, gameplay and streams and I have no idea what is this game. First of all, screenshots are not informative and have really bad quality of the picture. Okay, let's pretend I'm an idiot and those screenshots made me want to buy it. Where do I find the review on this game? For example, what we got in the Steam store. Now, PC as a gaming platform does suck big time, but Steam is a great and comfortable online store. Where the hell can I find the reviews here? Can you imagine how sad people that bought Anthem game must feel? The game is piece of shit. Total waste of money. This game has 5 stars. Jesus Christ, can you believe this? Where do I rate this game? Where? Where can I put those stars? I can't see! How do I know what is this game about? To find on YouTube? Seriously? YouTube is the worst place where you can find proper, honest and individual opinion. Every single one can make a video review on the game without even buying it. And I'm not better than that. I made a review on Days Gone without even having it. I've made my score by reading and watching other people playing it. But I promise no more. Since the very first... Wait. Since the very first day I got my PlayStation 4, I really fell in love with it. I enjoyed every minute of a gameplay. Playing Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Bloodborne, Last of Us. It was magic, it was something beautiful, but 
I can't agree with this store because it's a piece of terrible shit. Themes and wallpapers are ugly and expensive and the paint system is simply inconvenient. Now the thing is I have my gaming PC but I'm not homosexual to play on it. Now I make this video for people who can relate to those problems and tell me if if you guys have the same thing, if, if it really pisses you off and if you had any of those issues before. And for people who are just about to get the PS4, just so you will be aware of those issues. And so I hope that PS5 will not contain all these problems and they will fix it and uh, we will have really properly good working console of the next generation. Now thank you very much for watching, it was Lance Rose and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.